Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 4 of Akudama Drive. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, there's something I want to say, but we're going to wait until the opening. Because I think I know what's behind the door. I've been thinking about it ever since last week. Yeah, sad day. I cannot believe that's freaking Ryoma. <laughs> okay, so I've been thinking about this. I rewatched episodes one through three last week. Um, or between last week and this week. And something kept telling me, and I kept looking at the opening like several times. And you know how we kept seeing kids? I think kids are behind the 999 door. I mean, it would make the most sense, but what's dangerous about a kid? I mean, Kadaka and the dude who created 999 who also created this series together. What the heck are y'all planning? <laughs> because I just want to know. I mean, mm, I have no clue. I mean, yes, kids can kill as well, but... Maybe they're, I don't know. They're, they could just be, uh, the Shuriken, they could be this, the source of the whole thing. And that's why they're protected. Or some shit, I don't know. So we gotta be seeing them today. If not today, um, next Thursday for five. All right, let's open that door. Well, you can get a lot done in 10 minutes. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Of course they would be here. <laughs> I don't know how the hell they got here so quick. <laughs> Great. My kitty. <laughs> My right now is not the time. I mean, but shouldn't someone else stay with Brawler? I mean, we know he can handle himself, but still. Shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> but what about Doctor? Of course, he he's going to stay. Yeah. And his bike is there, and he needs his bike! <laughs> but we don't have time for this! Mm 
Mm-hmm. Of course she is. She positive as fuck. Oh, murderer, I love you so much. <laughs> I know why you... I mean, you're right, but what about everybody else? I mean, if only you could get that damn weapon off of him. I mean, it's three against one. That's a good fight, but... This fucking Ryoma we fucking talking about. <laughs> and how many minutes do we have left? have to try. Oh my god, Hacker did something. See, right then and there, somebody could have got right behind him and went BAM onto that thing. See? But he tried. Oh. Oh. Currency moved in time. Murdering, no! Ordinary, huh? Yeah, and we don't want that. Does anybody else have a weapon besides them? I mean, yeah, murderer got his knives, but <laughs> brawler got his hands. Just go. 
Oh my god. Matter, I love you so much. Please don't. I swear to god. Nah, hell no, nah. fuck that. That's strange. So then they they have to be somewhere around here, right? Yeah. Hmm. I just want to know about this damn cat, though. Like, seriously, it was, we know so little. Okay, go get your bike! Right in the oh fuck. You can't do this by yourself. I don't want you to die, though. <laughs> You've been talking about the bees in me all night. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh damn. <laughs> something bad mm -hmm.
Ugh, guys. Then in the end, they're all just gonna be plasma. Oh. Damn. That's fucked up. Yeah, cause um the way that look mm mm that's some post apocalyptic shit. Yeah, I mean seriously, just keep going. Exactly. You got your bike? <laughs> oh, fuck. Are you kidding me? There would be a fucking... Huh. Well, you know, um, execute... <gasps> Um, a body has been discovered. Damn it! should be of course you are Yeah, dodge that, please. Okay, can, can we heal him? Shit. Y'all walking so slow like it's nothing. Hello, we need to be running like it's the damn Hunger Games! But we don't have time! Oh my god!
the kids. The kids! Oh! Bro, what the fuck are you doing? Hey! <laughs> the fact that I was right. <laughs> I mean, because it made the most sense. But, okay. So, then what the hell is with the kids? I, I mean, I have so many questions. <laughs> Can I get... What does it do? Nine, 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 explain, please. <laughs> because, oh, you can't... And then episodes like that, I mean, they, they're so freaking cute. They honestly look like if, um... My best girl, my other best girl from Dog and Hawaiian, um, so, uh, Celestia? Yeah, Celest uh, Celestia. If she had kids. <laughs> oh, they were kids! Oh my god! <laughs> Red eyes and everything. I was really scared because, I mean, honestly, it just really looks like brawler or any one of them would have died today and I, I'm not ready to see these characters die I mean I love all of them now like seriously <laughs> I love these fucking characters so much and I just don't want them to die it'd be so sad really I just mm, they're just such a really damn good team like oh I mean mm. <laughs> They just work so well together, damn it. And they love it so much. Like, huh. Fucking Kadaka. I, mm, I can't. Oh, thank God. Mm hmm. Okay, the girl's voice seems familiar, too. Well, something tells me. I mean, they have powers. The girls use the, da the dang um, recorder to protect yourselves. Walking men dead or dead man walking? I mean, I'm still kind of confused on that name. We ain't going on until next week. But it seems like whatever these two kids are used for, it, it's something dangerous. They have to possibly, possibly maybe stay on that train for the rest of their lives until they die, maybe? I don't know. Because it seems like these two kids have really special abilities. One to the fact is that, you know, I mean, even though... I'm going to call him Boy until we get a name from him. Or Black Cat Boy. Um, he was able to use his voice on a robot cat. So the girl was able to use a recorder and instantly make a shield. But then there has to be something else that they're also useful for. I mean, we four episodes in and this is how I kind of felt like, oh my God, this is giving you major feels to like, you know, the bit, the last case of not only Danganronpa V3, but Danganronpa 2 when you, not the, not the last case of Danganronpa 2, the second to last case of Danganronpa 2 when we were trying to figure out who killed Nagito and we we're all, when we all found out who the fucker was, we were like, how? <laughs> it's, I don't know, but the girl, her voice seems familiar to me and I think that's kind of, um, Kanahana, I cannot say her name right. If that is her, I, I wouldn't be mad at it because she's a really good VA. Um, and I think the guy, the boy, is freaking Maya, Maya something. And that, it's interesting that these two are in it. But I got something, and I've also been thinking about this ever since episode one. What if, and, and this goes into like a little bit of spoiler territory for Danganronpa V3, so if you don't really, if you have not played Danganronpa V3, d just stop. Don't even watch the rest. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Um, but if you 
don't even care about spoilers ish. I'm just, it, this is how I'm going to say it. Okay. So remember how in the game with the flashback lights that gave them them like false memories and ish and stuff like that. Let's say, and I can't believe because this, if it's like this, I swear to God, Kadaka. What if ordinary, our swindler, our baby girl, the, you know, our character who we're, you know, who's supposed to be our POV of this whole entire show. What if she used something that was like a flashback light to give her these false memories of being just a regular old girl and such? And then eventually maybe she gets her, she gets her memories back about her being an Akadama maybe because she's so good at this shit, it's not even funny. And so ever since episode one and since she's been a part of this group, I've been looking at her a little funny. I mean, I'm not going to say, hey, she could be the fucking mastermind of this. I mean, my money's still on Doctor because I want Megami to finally become like a really good villain, even though, yes, she played Nagito Kamida in Danganronpa 2. And Nagito, Nagito is Nagito. <laughs> fucking crazy but I don't know I mean it's just the way she's like adapted her surroundings with these people from episode one to even now something about that ain't right to me and I know someone else like we everybody's been talking about this ish for weeks she knows like she's doing this like she's done it before maybe her body remembers and her mind doesn't because of the flashback like ish I don't know I mean this is Kadaka and dude who made 999 show and they could literally do freaking anything with it because I think also 999 when that was created for all three of those series, didn't he erase the memories of his characters as well? I mean, I don't know. I mean, shit, I'm gonna have to go back and look at that. But I mean, cause that would make the most sense because how do you, how do you like kind of adapt yourself to this? It's like something about that is not right to me. As much as I love her as like a freaking <laughs> Chiaki, Ibuki, a little bit of Samugi hybrid. I mean, because that's literally those three characters, her in a nutshell. I mean, because she acts like all three at the same time in like drastic moments. But something about her is not right. I love her to death. She's one of my personal favorite characters besides Doctor because those two are like mm, best girls and I want merch of them, even though they won't sell merch and send it to America because I want it so bad. But it's just something about her makes me she is fucking lying or she just doesn't remember or she had her fucking memories taken away because of something if it's not then that's a-okay then she's just here adapting and eventually she's gonna be a villain by the end of this damn series we all fucking know that but if it's something where she's lost her memory then that makes the most freaking sense but we ain't gonna know until you know we get later on to into the story but other than that guys that is my reaction to be towards episode four of akudama drive if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next thursday for episode five bye guys